Hey there, Bryce. Hope you've been having a good week. Welcome to the inaugural episode of Brownies by Coastal. Brownies is because my brother and I are both Browns. I'm Elise Brown and he's Bryce Brown. By Coastal because Bryce is starting ninth grade in Oregon. I'm starting my second year of college at Wellesley over in Massachusetts. I am a woman who will. I am a political science major. One interesting thing that I've been doing recently is we've been reading the works of a man named Socrates, or I guess of a man named Plato in his Socrates fanfic. The best way to take notes about these ancient texts is to take every paragraph and summarize it in one sentence. Socrates was kind of a jerk. Maybe I should dress up in something a little more Socrates-ish. What do I have that's Socrates-ish? So here is my translation of Socrates' apology. Wow, those were really good arguments, you guys. Too bad they were all wrong. Say, I'm not gonna sound very pretty like these lawyer guys, but hear me out, because I'm right. Melita says that I teach wrong things. That ain't me, man, that ain't me. I just love teaching people. I'm super wise, because I don't claim to know what I don't know. A craftsman can be awesome at making things, but not so good at doing other stuff. They're not wise if they think they're really hot stuff, but I'm wise. I don't pretend to know what I don't know. I teach people that they're not very wise. Now everyone hates me for some reason. What the hell? They're just jealous. And so let's break it down. One, Melodus says that I'm corrupting the youth. Well, you know who really sucks? Melodus. Yeah. Melodus doesn't even care about the children. You know, come up here, Melodus. What? Melodus, who improves the children? The laws improve the children? So everybody improves the children, right? Yeah, everyone improves the children. So you're saying everyone's improving the children but me, and I'm the only one corrupting the children? Yes, that's why you're on trial, Socrates. Melodus, that's not how it works. People are like, horses, right? One person improves them while everyone else is corrupting them. You think it's the other way around because you you suck. That's not nice, Socrates. You know what? I'm not even afraid to die. The gods ordained me to be a philosopher, and philosophers don't fear the unknown. So if I die, at least I'm gonna have something to examine. You can't acquit me and be like, Socrates will acquit you if you stop being a philosopher. No, I'm never gonna stop being a philosopher. The gods have sent me here to be Socrates. You know, a lot of my students are here. They can tell you how great I am. Plato, Plato, tell them how great I am. Socrates is awesome. I don't want your guys' pity. I don't even care if you acquit me. I mean, it's not like I put on a big show to avoid getting killed. Only super dishonorable people would do that. And also women. Just remember, I'm being super pious and Melodus and all of his friends are totally atheists. Yeah, we the jury find you guilty, Socrates. But I mean, don't, don't I deserve some credit for being a really great philosopher? You should feed me for all the things I have done for you. Plato will totally, totally bail me out. Is, isn't that right, Plato? Socrates is great. Yeah, well, what's, what's your guys' sentence for me? Yeah, Socrates, we're sentencing you to death. Okay, fine, just remember, you guys just killed it old man. How do you guys feel about that, huh? There will be vengeance taken upon you. The gods told me so. And to all you guys who voted to acquit me, it's all gonna be okay. I mean, death sounds nice. I'll either be asleep or I'll still be philosophizing in Hades. I can meet famous people? That doesn't sound all that bad if I can meet famous people. Anyway, I'm, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. But make sure my sons avenge me when they grow up. So yeah, I really don't realize why every humanities professor I've had who uses the Socratic method thinks it's this great thing, when it really just seems to be, if you're not as smart as Socrates, he insults you. What's the point? So till next week, Bryce, I'm excited to see what you come up with, and I hope you have a really good week. Can't wait to see you again soon.